Hello Wiz Kids. So this is part six of our Vroom series. Uh, I hope you've all been enjoying it so far as much as I have. Uh, but yeah, today we're looking at episode six, which is going to be Love is full of joy when the truth is spoken. So this is part two. So if you haven't seen part one of this video, go back and watch it and then come meet me back here and we'll go through it. So throughout the series, we've been looking at 1 Corinthians 13. And if you can't remember any of it, I'm just going to go quickly through and show you some of the actions and the verses that we've been doing up to the teaching that I'm doing today. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not brag. It is not proud. It is not rude. It does not look out for its own interests. It does not easily become angry. It does not keep track of other people's wrongs. Love is not happy with evil. Love is full of joy when the truth is spoken. So that last part is the part that we're going to be looking at today. Love is full of joy when the truth is spoken. And we're going to be looking at a story today that can be found in Acts. And it's about a man named Paul. Now you might have heard of him in a few other stories that we've done in the past. Um, but yeah, this is found in the New Testament of the Bible in the book of Acts. So Paul was put in prison for telling people about Jesus. Now his friends helped him get out of jail, but the prison leaders found him again and arrested him. To get him back to jail, they put him on a boat along with some other prisoners. And while they were sailing, a big storm came. Because the prison leaders wanted to get everyone back to jail, they decided that they were going to sail through the storm. But Paul knew the truth. He told them that, <coughs> that if they kept sailing, it was going to be really dangerous and bad things would happen to them. The truth was that if they kept sailing, they could lose their supplies or the ship could wreck. Now, no one on the ship wanted to listen to the truth and the storm got worse. They had to throw up all of their supplies. They were all super hungry and really scared. For four days, the storm kept going. Every day, they got more and more scared and more and more hungry. On the fourth night, Paul prayed to God and told him how worried everyone was. God told Paul the truth <coughs> and that they were all going to be okay, even if the ship got wrecked. Paul was full of joy because God had spoken the truth to him. He decided that he had to try and tell the tr truth to everyone one more time. Finally, the men decided to listen to Paul. Exactly what Paul said would happen, happened. The ship did wreck, but everyone was safe. Because of that, they were all full of joy. The men were full of joy because Paul had spoken the truth that God had told him to say. This is because love is full of joy when the truth is spoken. And just like Paul, we should all try to show love to others by telling them the truth. You know, when we're worried about what, what happens <laughs> when we do say the truth, you know, we should pray and ask God to give us and the person we're talking to joy. Sometimes telling the truth is hard, but we can show love to God by telling the truth and praying instead of worrying about what might happen if we do tell the truth. So how can we be like Paul and speak the truth? Well, it might mean that when we're told a lie, you know, we need to come clean and actually say sorry and tell the truth. It might mean that we should speak up when someone's being unkind and actually tell them how to be kind. It might mean admitting when we're wrong and actually accepting the truth when someone speaks the truth to us. So I just want to give us a moment to just think about maybe some times where we haven't told the truth and actually think about how we can be truthful going forward. So I'm going to pray and maybe you want to say this prayer along with me. Dear Jesus, help me to speak the truth and to be honest. Help me to be full of joy when the truth is spoken to me. Amen.